Hey guys, welcome to another collection video. This time around we are looking at this Link bobblehead doll. And uh, it being a bobblehead doll, it bobbles. Uh, you might have noticed this in some of my previous videos. I sometimes have it with me or sitting in the background. Uh, so just a quick glimpse of him. Uh, it's Toon Link from The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. And you can see his head and spinning around it. He's got his sword and shield attached to him and uh, he's just got like a pretty cool swag looking po uh, pose and uh, he is actually standing on top of a Nintendo GameCube and if you look closely it's kinda hard to see it says GameCube over there and it's actually a little replica GameCube over here you see where the controller slots go and uh, the memory cards even the like little air vents on the side and uh, even the back of it, they did a pretty good job. Like you know, it's even got the where the plugs go in, where the handle is, and then uh, underneath it, over here, it says, "This is this item is a display collectible, not a toy, not recommended for children under eight years." And then eh, made in China. Uh, and as you can see up front, there is the Wind Waker logo at the top of the GameCube. Uh, that's because this was actually a collectible giveaway uh, when the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker released. It was actually given away at Target retail stores. Uh, I'm not sure if it was just for pre-orders or if it was just on a limited quantity for the first people that bought it. But I know it was given away at at least Target. Not sure if other retailers were involved in the giveaway. But uh, so it never really sold for any particular price it was a giveaway uh, however nowadays you can pick them up for uh, they're pretty pricey anywhere between 75 and a hundred dollars and uh, they're not too big I mean this guy probably stands about you can see my hand next to him I got a pretty small hand so it's probably about say six inches or so tall maybe six or seven inches uh, and uh, you can find them on eBay fairly often though. In fact, I've almost always seen one available. So they're not like, like, excessively rare. You can find them, you can get them, uh, but it'll cost you somewhere between 75 and 100 bucks. Uh, so that's it for this video. Uh, join me next week. Hopefully I'll get back into a, a weekly video here. And uh, I'll show off another item in my collection. Take care guys.